Throughout history, we, as humans, have used the power of our minds to achieve incredible and amazing feats. In reality, our minds are simply tools we use to create our thoughts. And the quality of our thoughts determines the quality of our experiences. A simple shift in perception will quickly and easily improve how you feel and what you believe is possible. Helping you to achieve all of your personal goals. Even those that previously seemed unattainable. Join us now as we explore the vast landscapes of our minds. This is Mind Over Matter. Good evening, I'm Mitch Friedman. And I'm Brandilyn Jokiel, and you're watching Mind Over Matter, where we teach people how to use the power of their minds to feel better, overcome their obstacles, and get more of what they want in life. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that. Yay! It's a great way to start the weekend. I like the feel better part a yeah, lot. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I feel better every time you say it. I feel better too. <laughs> and you know what's so funny, Mitch, is that, you know, you're going through your week, you're going through your day, and it's so interesting to me that... I know about all of these things and all these tips and tricks on how to feel better, and there's just still peaks and valleys. We're just no, emotional no. people that have peaks and valleys, and that's just the way life is, I think. Well, I think the key to all of that is just to keep getting better and better and quicker and quicker at changing those thoughts instantly. Like, just going, oh, wait a minute, yeah, that's right, I do have the tools, and which one, go into the toolbox and just pick one. Right in that moment, what can I do right then? So I think the key is, the contrast doesn't actually ever really go away, Right. but we get to choose faster and faster and quicker and quicker a new thought, a new idea, a concept, a picture in our mind that feels feels better. Absolutely. And so, speaking of processes, um, the last time we filmed a show, we did mapping across. Right. You had that little paperwork issue where you didn't want to get in your office and take care of some paperwork that needed to be taken care of. So we haven't talked about that since then. So this is true. just like totally off the cuff. How has it been for you? I'm glad you brought session? it up because it's funny that we haven't talked about it because I actually sat down one morning in, in the house and thought, okay, you know, without even thinking about the session or I should do this, it wasn't even about that. Mm -hmm. I just walked into the office and thought, you know, I have like plenty of time right now and I've already did my walk and I took care of everything and I think I'm going to like spend some time straightening up the office. And there were points where I was actually laughing out loud. Because for people who did see the show, we had that clip of the Disney and Mickey Mouse in the water and the Fantasia. And I, I kept getting that image in my mind as I was straightening up. I really felt like I had a little magic wand and was orchestrated. <laughs> It was really cool because I found it very amusing, which was Fantastic. how the session kind of ended. Right. And easy. It was really easy. Oh. And I got so much done in like an hour. I couldn't even believe it. I thought I'd put this off for probably like 57 years. And it took me one <laughs> hour to put it all back together again. So, yeah. I, and I kept meaning to tell you and call you and tell you that, that I did that that day. So it was really fun. So A plus. Thank you. Oh, that's great to hear. You know, that could have gone the other way. So. I wouldn't have said it if it was on camera. I wouldn't have told you. I would have lied. You would have pulled me to the side and said, hey, lady. Don't try to let's not talk about that. But of course it works because you were in alignment and you want to change. And that's something that's so important about any kind of work that you're doing. If you want to change, there's ways to do it. If you're not really committed to the change, if you're thinking, eh, so-and-so wants me to do this, or my wife, or my husband, or my kids, or my boss, so I think I'll do it, then the type of processes we're working with, change just doesn't, doesn't work, stick. Yeah. You've got to have, unfortunately, suffered enough. <laughs> to be or like, fortunately. Right. <laughs> to be like, I'm done with this. Now, how do I get better? So, 
And speaking of sessions, Mitch, I had the most phenomenal session this week. I was so happy and pleased to see Louise Swartzwalter from the Albuquerque Natural Health Center. She's a naturopathic doctor and biofeedback specialist, and I'd never had a session like this before, Mitch, and it was amazing. And what's even better is I get to interview her today. I'm so excited. She's brilliant, and I'm not talking just like kind of brilliant. I mean... I have not met a practitioner who knows all of the different types of things that she knows. And what's really cool, Mitch, is, you know, we talk about NLP and we have these processes. She bumps it up to a whole new level, NLP through a computer that reads your energy. It's the new age. It's the new the age. The age of Aquarius. It's technology, <laughs> who knew baby. it was going to be about technology? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to ascend through technology. Who Absolutely. Knew? You know? Well, it's all energy, right? It's true. It's true. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. So, without further ado, shall we bring Miss Louise? In? Absolutely, yeah. All right. Well, I'm happy and delighted to be sitting here with Louise Swartzwalter of Albuquerque Natural Health Center. I always want to say medicine because you're a naturopathic practitioner, is that right? Doctor. Doctor. She's mm -hmm. a naturopathic, naturopathic doctor. And maybe you can hook me up to the biofeedback machine so I can speak correctly today. Would that be? <laughs> yeah. Would that we, can, we can do that. We can put on communication. You gotcha. Oh, fantastic. Uh -huh. And I was mentioning um, with Mitch briefly that I had this fantastic session with you this week. And, and I'd like you to explain a little bit about um, biofeedback and bioresonance. You are a naturopathic doctor as well as doing biofeedback in your mm -hmm. articles because you write a lot of articles. So mm -hmm. This lady is everywhere, folks. Anywhere in Albuquerque, you just pick up something and there's an article in there. Can you explain to us what biofeedback bioresonance is? Yes, um, biofeedback, um, there's a lot of definitions of it, and the type of biofeedback I use is called bioresonance, which mm -hmm. is really more energy work. Um, it's a computer program, and it's hooked up to this box, mm -hmm. and as you know, there's a wire that goes around your forehead, and then right. there's one on each wrist and one on each ankle, and what it really is doing is it's reading the electrical body and then putting it back in balance. So it's looking for the stressors in your body, mm -hmm. all types. So when I, when I say all types, I mean physical, mental, and emotional. Emotional. Yeah. Emotional. So that emotional panel I know is something you were impressed with. I was really impressed with the emotional panel. So um, Luis and I were talking when I, when I had my session the other day, and one of the things that I think we might be on the same page of a little bit of frustration with is mm -hmm. when we ask a client, how do you feel, mm -hmm. sometimes people have no idea how they feel. This is true. They, they, mm -hmm. they really aren't a lot of in, in touch with their feelings. I... Fortunately or unfortunately, I'm very in touch with my feelings, and I hadn't mentioned what I had, my emotional state had been in the, the previous three weeks or so, but by golly, you hooked me up to that machine, and bam, there it was in black and white. There was no high. I was, I was amazed. I was absolutely amazed. I was like, yep, 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 yep. Those are all the things I've been feeling right there, and it was such, I have to say, it was such a validation to see that, yeah, I'm not crazy, that's actually really going on. And this mm -hmm. machine was able to read my electrical body. I'm guessing somewhat how an intuitive person would read an electrical body. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. In fact, there's a certain amount of intuition that's used. I mean, it's like anything else, it's a tool. So it's a tool that I use, and we do other things as well. Like I do some energy work with that too. So when I see those emotions on that NLP panel, um, it opens dialogue. Right. So it's a place to open dialogue with somebody and really help them look at the fact that maybe they're feeling betrayed. Mm -hmm. And that feeling of being betrayed stems back to a trauma, mm -hmm. something that happened earlier in their life. And then I like to do some energy work with that and release those traumas. Because we know that unless we do that, we really can't heal that physical body as well. Because underneath everything seems to be some kind of emotional component. Right. Even with cancer. So what I'm hearing mm -hmm. you say is the emotional component, maybe I'm putting words in your mouth, correct me if I'm wrong, the emotional component kind of leads into the physical manifestation in the body. Yes. And to heal the body, you have to take care of the emotions as well. Right, right. So what I usually tell people is I say, you know, sometimes we can become physically sick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, my story was I had all my mercury fillings out in one day. And I ended up getting very, I had 14 fillings. Oh, wow. And so I was full of heavy metals. So my mm -hmm. path of healing is really probably what makes me pretty intuitive today. Mm -hmm. You know, it was my own journey. And so what I learned was you can become physically sick. Mm -hmm. But when you're healing, you have to heal mental, emotional, spiritual, and the physical. And so it kind of opens this ball, if mm -hmm. you will, to, to 
to looking at the whole self and right. the whole picture. 